Hey y'all, listen, you know, recently I've been talking here on the channel about the dangerous extreme heat waves, the heat emergencies that have been happening. Listen, I just wanted to come on and uh, this is a reminder for us all, right? Make sure that you're keeping up with and paying your power bill, okay? Um, I came across a news story. They're saying that um, with all the dangerous heat waves, extreme heat waves going on across the country here in the U.S., they're saying that millions of people are at risk of their power being cut off, okay? The power being cut off, not necessarily due to blackouts or things like that, severe weather, just their electricity being turned off because they're behind on power bills, okay? And they're, these people, you know, some of these, when I say these people, I mean the, the utility companies, electricity companies, Yes, sometimes they may have a plan for you to enroll in or make some type of payment arrangement, but they're, unfortunately, you would think that they would, you know, maybe give you a little bit more grace, but these people will cut off your power. Listen to this article. I'm going to tell you about what I read. So we already know that there's a heat wave happening all across the United States leading to record high temperatures, right? Um, more than 180 million people, they're now saying, are living under a heat advisory as of this past Friday. At the same time, okay, my sources are saying that the nation is suffering from a power disconnection crisis. Okay, we talked about many crisis, crises here on the channel. Now they're talking about there is a, and I quote, a power disconnection crisis. Okay, millions are at risk, my sources are saying, of having their electricity turned off because of overdue bills. All right. Um, my sources say that about one in four Americans is uncertain about being able to pay household energy bills with low income people. The article notes most at risk of having their utilities disconnected. OK, that's according to Sonia Carley, who is a professor of energy policy and city planning at the University of Pennsylvania. Last year, energy utilities cut off power to about three million households. She noted. OK, but even more households could be at risk this summer. Given the soaring mercury and the impact of inflation, the article says, and higher energy costs, deepening the financial woes of many Americans. Y'all know we've talked about here on the channel. Food prices are high. Gas prices have been high. And most recently, they're even going higher. You know, at the same time, for many people, uh, as inflation has risen, gas prices, food pr prices have risen, their income may not have risen at the same time. Okay, so in other words, People are, some people, maybe many people, we should say, could be incurring more and more higher expenses, but their income is not rising at a, at a fast enough rate to keep up with all of that, okay? Causing people to get behind, uh, causing people to maybe have past due bills and things like that. And so what they're saying is that due to all of those factors, right, whether it's in some people's control or not, okay, with the extreme temperatures, okay, and even what they're saying is, um, you know, challenges um, and the crisis with the whole power grid, the electric power grid, they're saying that millions of people are at risk of being, of having their power disconnected, okay? Uh, and it comes all just at a, at a really dangerous time because it's so, so hot. <clears throat> Listen to this, y'all, okay? Um, only 19 states, the article says, restrict summer shutoffs of utilities, meaning most people live in states where they lack any recourse if they fall behind in paying their electric bill during a heat wave, okay? Um, this professor, uh, let me see, hold on, I wanna make sure I have the right person. Okay, yes, the professor who I referred to earlier was quoted also as saying, millions of people face this problem. And once a household faces the problem of disconnection, they often enter this kind of uh, cycle of being regularly disconnected and frequently energy insecure, okay? Losing electricity places people at, and I quote, immense risk because they can't run fans or air conditioning to regulate their body temperature, she said. In some cases, the loss of power can be deadly, okay? And I, we've certainly seen that. Um, I, I showed you all, or I talked about a few examples where they were talking about in different parts of the country, people have succumbed to this record-breaking extreme heat, okay? Um, the article also says that many Americans rely on different strategies to keep their electric bills low, but that can also heighten the risk, okay? For uh, for instance, the article says 27% of low to moderate income people say they take on debt in order to pay their utility, while another 26% set their temperatures at risky levels to keep their bills down, okay? Um, listen to this one, y'all. In the most dire case, the article says an electricity cutoff during the summer can be deadly, but that can be hard to track because a person's 
um, loss of life might be listed as heart failure, even though the fatality likely wouldn't have occurred if the power had remained on. Okay, that's that's really something to think about, y'all. Um, here's uh, one story they gave an example of. One case that drew attention in recent years is that of Stephanie Pullman, who was a 72-year-old a whose electricity was shut off in 2018 when outside temperatures in her retirement community near Phoenix, okay? Phoenix is one of those cities now that have been in the news for just record-shattering high temperatures, right? So there was this, uh, there's this lady, um, Stephanie Pullman, a 72-year-old whose electricity was shut off in 2018 when outside temperatures in her retirement community near Phoenix reached 170 degrees Fahrenheit. She had paid $125 towards a past due bill of $176, but her power was cut off. Listen to this, y'all because she didn't pay in full. That's what a $51 difference, right? So just because she had, now I don't know the full extent of her situation, right? Whether she had had a past record of maybe not paying, I, I don't know any of that, right? I'm just reporting on what this article is saying. But for whatever reason, okay, although she had paid $125 towards a $176 bill, do the math, she had a, what, $51 balance due, right? Her power was still cut off because she didn't pay in full, okay? Um, and it looks like, unfortunately, as I'm reading the article, she lost her life, okay? They found her during a wellness check, and the medical examiner attributed her death to, and I quote, environmental heat exposure, okay? Very tragic, tragic situation. Um, last year, uh, the article says, Arizona prohibited utilities from disconnecting customers, during periods of extreme weather, such as days over 95 degrees. But most states, uh, my sources say, lack any protections against power cuts, including states where summer temperatures are normally high and are getting hotter due to climate change. Oh, here we go, y'all. Such as in the article list, Alabama, Florida, North and South Carolina. Okay, they didn't uh, even say Georgia, so I don't, I'm not too sure about that, okay? Um. One source also said the federal, and I quote, the federal government should absolutely have this on their radar. And I think they can do it in multiple ways. Okay. One, uh, one, the article says, or the uh, person says is an emergency moratorium for disconnections. The federal government can say across all utilities, nobody is allowed to disconnect where we know that most of the population is under a heat advisory. Okay. Do you agree or disagree with that thought? Let me know. Um, people at risk, uh, here's some, okay. So here's some solutions. Here are some solutions where to get help. Listen to this, y'all. Um, people at risk of having their electricity cut off or shut off should contact their utilities to ask about payment plans or other aid. Okay, um, the article says only about 6% of low-income households request uh, such assistance. The researcher, the professor found, all right? She also was quoted saying people uh, would much rather accumulate debt, for example, or, for, or forego eating then they would call the utility and talk to the, talk to the utility about what kinds of payment plans they might have or assistance that may uh, that they may have. So do you understand what she's saying here? She's basically saying that people would rather go into debt, whether they're paying their bills, their electricity bill on credit card, borrowing money, um, or maybe cut back on eating in order to uh, pay this bill, okay? Maybe for whatever reason, <clears throat> They feel like the utility company isn't going to give them any type of grace or flexibility in making their payments. Okay, um, and this is where this is where again, this is why I say it's good to know what's happening in your local community, local community groups, because they do offer um, assistance. You just kind of have to know where to go and find it. Okay, um, my sources also say that local government agencies or charities might also offer aid for paying utility bills. While in an emergency, families can also look for cooling centers at schools or other public buildings if they do lose power, okay? All right, y'all, so let me know your thoughts about this. Again, even in this record-breaking heat, another report has come out saying that millions of people, millions of Americans, right, are at risk of their power being cut off, okay? Again, I want to remind you, this is for, I'm saying the same thing. I'm taking my own advice. Same thing I'm sharing with you, okay? Make sure that you're not behind on your power bill, Make sure you're paying your power bill, okay? If you're having struggles, challenges, you know, we're all human. Reach out to them as soon as possible. See if they can offer you some type of payment arrangement, flexibility, y'all. 
Don't be without power in this devastating, record-breaking heat, okay? Take care of yourselves. Take care of your families. I hope I'm sharing information that's helpful to you. Please let me know in the comments, okay? Talk to you soon in another video.